have you all ever gotten anything stuck in your teeth? I know you have. I know I have. That's why I always carry this with me. Now, this isn't, this isn't just any toothpick. This isn't your ordinary. You may think this looks like a toothpick that you've seen before, but this is not a toothpick that you have seen before, ever in your life. Now, a couple years ago, my dad and I were hiking around the Rockies, and well, we were pretty high up, so, and it's, well, it started to snow. And if we were to go down at that time, by the time we would have made it down, we would have frozen. So we started to look for some shelter in those woods. Fortunately enough for us, we were able to find an old abandoned cabin. Bursting through those doors, we were able to see that there was not only a wood stove to keep us warm and alive, but also some non-perishable food items to keep us alive. So, starting the fire with the carefully stacked firewood that was already beside the fire, enough, fortunately enough for us, we warmed it up and ate our dinner, and we went to bed. The next morning, however, we woke up and our fire was dwindling, our supply of firewood as well. And we, not only that, but we noticed that it was still dark outside, no matter that it was seven, eight in the morning. So we looked out the window and it was pitch black. What we came to realize was that the snow overnight had piled up over our cabin and snowed us completely in. So maybe a week later, after we had taken all the shelves out, the chairs, the tables, and nearly burned down the cabin in hopes of warmth, we decided that one of us would have to go out and look for some firewood. So after looking for a way out, we noticed that the fire from the stovepipe had melted a hole through the snow above the, above the cabin. So we took out the stovepipe and I was hoisted out with an ax and out I went onto the surface of the snow. Now, the crust was thick enough that I could stand, so I looked out upon those rocky mountains and it was nothing, it was pitch white. No treetops, just white snowy hills. So after walking for maybe an hour, I came across a tall treetop that was tall enough to poke through that snow. So I cut it down, and I was, I was hurrying, I was cold, I was tired. And in my haste, I, didn't, I did not cut that down carefully enough, so that tree went sliding down that mountaintop. And as I watched it, it slid up the other side of the mountain, and back and forth and back and forth, and I just gave up on it. So I went and I walked around for another couple of hours to find no, a new treetop to use, and fortunately enough, I did. And fortunately enough, I was careful and safe this time about it. So I carried my wood back, and I dumped it down the hole, and we put the stovepipe back in. We were able to survive that whole winter until the snow had melted. So coming out that spring, all the woods clean and nice, snow melted, some chunks here and there. We went down to that valley where that tree had fallen. And there, on a small pile of snow going back and forth, having whittled itself away all winter, was that same tree log. It's about the size of this toothpick. Exactly the size of this toothpick, in fact. It is this toothpick. 